right, this is our 2001 BMW 330 Coupe. That vibration is from the nylon motor mounts. This is our TTD car for 2016. And I've got a set of Bilstein PSS coilovers installed right now. Vorschlag spherical camber plates front and spherical shock mounts on the rear. Uh, poly bushings, the race power flex bushings in the rear subframe and the diff mounts as well as the front control arm bushings. New front control arms, and this is on street tires, a 245-40-17 Dunlop. And we're driving around on some Plano roads. I just wanted to kind of show the ride quality of the Bilstein PSS. Now, we've doubled the spring rates that come with the PSS. We put a 60 millimeter Hyperco spring front and rear with a 350 pound per inch front spring and a 450 pound per inch rear spring, which is, again, double what came with these, this kit. Um, and the ride quality is actually still pretty good. It's not as good as it was with the soft, conical, super soft OEM kind of spring rates that the PSS kit came with, but it's very, very manageable. Uh, again, I'm driving around on these Plano roads and I'll run over some of these reflectors. It's, it's totally livable. Um, the motor mounts and transmission mounts we put in here are full race mounts, basically solid. Uh, the nylon motor mounts, they add a lot more vibration and than the ride quality does. Um, there's a little bit of a, you know, on, on some of the rough stuff, it's a little slow to, to compose itself. And we probably should have gone with the Bilstein PSS 10 kit. But they only make that for the E46 M3, which we could have easily adapted to this car. Uh, but it was a, a bit of a mistake. This is a really inexpensive kit. I think it's like $1,100 or $1,200 uh, for the non-adjustable PSS. And you still get four-corner right height adjustability. And you can easily change the spring rates to a true 60 millimeter coilover spring like we've done on this car. And uh, it rides really well. We've uh, won three TT events in it so far and almost reset the track record with no power mods. All we've done is a 245 Hoosier, very well used R7s on a 17 10 inch wheel, the bushings I talked about and the PSSs and camera plates. Uh, the spring rates are still really probably too soft for, for time trial use at the top levels and today later today we're going to put a set of MCS TT2 uh, mono 2 adjustable double adjustable coilovers on this car and we're going to go up in the spring rate probably uh, a double again what we have now so probably four times the stock rates um, the car in front of me right there that E46 M3 is on PSS 10s we just installed and we put much different spring rates on those and it rides great and I'm really regretting after driving that car yesterday I'm really regretting not doing the PSS 10s from the get-go I was gonna do a PSS and then a PSS 10 and then the MCS I think I'm gonna skip the, the PSS 10 set because I know it works I've driven this car here and uh, it worked really well <laughs> So again, more street testing with the Bilstein PSS kit with double the spring rates they come with, non-adjustable coilover uh, with four corner height adjustment only. The vibrations again are our race only motor mounts. Probably shouldn't have gone nylon. What do you think, Brad? That was, yeah, they're not bad. They're, it just has that vibration right about a thousand RPM. And uh, some of the harshness in the ride is from all the bushings we replaced with the race only. Uh, poly bushings for power flex. But this is a really choppy road in Plano. We have uh, concrete roads everywhere and they're constantly repairing them and there's a lot of sharp impacts from all the patches they do. Still have stock power. We've got to work on that. Yeah, let's try to run over some bumps here. Sway bar, and uh, I think that was hurting us in our 
first two events where we didn't have a, a good sway bar yet. And we still don't. We're going to do this event at TWS this weekend on the MCSs. And we still got the stock bars because the white line front bar is out of stock. Oh well. Again, Amy drives this every day, no complaints. Jolting. I would say that E46 you just drove rides better, right, Brad? That's the PSS Much 10 better. setup. And that's got more spring rate. It's effectively the same dampers, but they're adjustable. And so you can turn the valving up to deal with the higher spring rate. So the PSS 10, probably the better choice for a budget uh, coilover setup that it sees any street use and, and track use. And again, take the springs that come in the Bilstein kit and throw them right in the trash. They are too soft.